Good morning. You're going to see something a little bit different today in the start of the lesson. This is going to be the moon dance. I got Miss Kessler and Miss Rooney Abadie to help me. I'm going to be the moon. Miss Kessler is going to be the earth. And the camera is going to show you uh, a mystery that stumps lots of humans. So here we go. So, Miss Kessler, I want you to see whether or not you ever see the back of my head. I'm paying attention. Okay. She's allowed to turn as many times as she wants, up to 30 times. I don't want her to get dizzy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start one orbit around the moon. I'm going to do one moon. One month. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. You see whether or not you ever see the back of my head. Okay. Okay, here we go. Alright, that was the end of one moon. Miss oh. Kessler, did you ever see the back of my head? No, do you have eyes in the back of your head? <laughs> she couldn't see the back of my head. Okay? She always saw this. Right. Okay? I'm gonna do it again. One more moon. See? Okay? Sure. So you see whether or not you ever see the back of my head. Now, Miss Rudy Baby, can you watch my fancy footwork? Is it showing up on the camera? Yep. Okay. Alright. So I'll ask again, did you ever see the back of my head? Certainly not. Alright. Now, I'm now going to ask you to see if, it's, if you ever see the back of my head, because this time I'm actually going to not spin. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here, you, know, you see whether or not you see the back of my head. Okay. This is about a trip. See the back of my head? Yes, I did see the back of your head. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time. You do not have eyes in the back of your head. <laughs> Here we go, one more time. Okay. Okay, I'm not spinning. I'm facing down the hallway the whole time. Right. And, the, and the earthlings say. I indicated where I saw the you, back of your you head. You saw the back of my head. Right. Thank you, I'm gonna pick yes. the camera up, don't stop it. Thank you, that was the end of the moon dance. Thank you, ladies. Yes. All right. Now, I'm walking down the hallway to my classroom because I don't do any editing on these videos. All right, here we go. Today's lesson is about the moon, obviously. And the first thing we're gonna talk about is, does the moon spin? All right, so get a piece of notebook paper out here we go. This is the lesson for October 1st. Does the moon spin? All right, so you can try this. I'm not doing any tricks here. If you Google full moon, you'll get lots of pictures like this. Be observant. It's the same side in all of those pictures. I can prove it to you. Watch for this distinctive little spot by itself. It's there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there. Okay, not that one. That's a different, that was taken by Russians, I think. Yep. Here it is again, there, there. All right, something's going on. For people to post pictures of the full moon, they always get the same side. It's this side. Hopefully you can see my shirt. It's the same side. So it would appear that the moon doesn't spin if we always see the same side. But I said up here, okay? Does the moon spin? Yes, it does. But it does it in a funny, funny way. It spins so slowly, 
it spins so slowly that one rotation takes one month, one month. What I'm telling you is it spins at the same rate that it orbits. Okay, now that dance that I did in the hallway, the first time I did it, the first two times that I did it, I was doing what the moon does where it only lets the earthlings see the same side, okay? The, the other times when I didn't spin, when I looked down the hallway the whole time that I went around the earth, the earthlings think I'm spinning because it looked like I was spinning because I was going around the earth and it slowly let the earthlings see all of the moon. Let me say that a different way. If you look around in whatever your room you're in right now, if you stood in the middle of that room and you slowly spun, you would see all the walls of that room, wouldn't you? If you just stood in the middle and slowly turned your body, you would eventually see all the walls. Okay? Somebody would say, oh, yeah, you, you went around. Okay? All right. When I went around the earth doing the moon dance, I faced all of the directions. But the earthling, Miss Kessler, she only saw my one side. Okay? Gravity has the moon locked so that we only see one side of the moon from Earth. Ever. I told you on the video yesterday, all the craters on the moon on the back side have Russian names because they got to see them because they had sent a spacecraft with a camera. Okay. All right, now, I'm going to prove it to you in a different way. The Lady in the Moon. That. In the Moon. The Man in the Moon is a poorly drawn, lopsided face. Okay? He really is. There's lots of ways to draw the, the Man in the Moon. The Lady in the Moon is classy and realistic. Okay? Now, brace yourself. I'm going to show you the lady in the moon. She's amazing. Okay, I'm going to go to the big screen. I just pulled up one of the first pictures on Google Images. It said full moon. Okay? And there's what you see. There's that distinctive spot I was talking about up here. Okay? Now, I'm going to draw you a super realistic woman's face, okay? She's not looking at you, you're looking at the side of her face. Okay, here we go. First thing to look for is her eye. Here's her nose. Here's her mouth. Here's her chin. Here's her forehead and eyebrow. Here's her bangs, the hair out over her forehead. Here's her barrette. Dealing with that reflection. Here's the top of her head. Here's her hairline. Here's her ear. Here's the bun of hair on the back of her head. Here's a flower. Here's her neck. Here's a diamond necklace, that bright crater. Dude, that's a woman's face, okay? Now, if you can see her, 
If you can truly see that, you don't have to convince me, you know, it's up to you. If you can see her, your brain will always see her now. It's not an intelligence thing, it's a perception thing. Once you see this shape, whenever you see a lady, whenever you see a picture of the full moon, you're always going to see the lady in the moon now. Okay? Now, I'm going to give you a test. Can you still see her? I can. That's all I ever see when I see the a picture of the full moon now. I always see the lady of the moon. Okay? Now, I'm going to draw it again. Here's her eye, forehead, eyebrow, nose, mouth, chin, neck, diamond necklace, barrette, bangs, top of her head, bun, flower, oops, ear. Now, let me give you a different way to think about her. I don't know if you've ever watched old cartoons. Think Wilma Flintstone, Fred's wife. That the woman you're looking for has a Wilma Flintstone hairdo. Here's Wilma and here's Fred. Okay. There's there, there's the hairdo we're dealing with. Okay. Notice the bangs and the bun. Okay. Here is a different picture of the moon. You can I can see the lady of the moon even when it isn't full moon. Can you see her now? I do. Look for her eye first. Now, the reason I'm showing you that is it will help prove to you that I'm not lying to you. The moon doesn't doesn't show us any other side. Okay? As it orbits the earth, it's locked into showing us the side that has the lady in the moon. All right, next. So, what is a full moon? Well, here's what a full moon is. It's when the moon is fully lit on the side that we can see. Let me say that a different way. When it's full moon, which is Thursday, October 1st, full moon night, when you go outside and see it, you won't see any of the night side of the moon, none of the dark side. And here's why. It's because the moon is opposite of the sun in the sky. So here's, I'm gonna pull this diagram out, okay? On full moon, the moon is on the opposite side of the sun as viewed from Earth. The sun's over here, here's the earthlings, here's the full moon. And you'd be somewhere on this side of the Earth to be able to see it. You can't see a full moon in the daytime. Okay? Because it's up at night. All right. So what is a full moon? It's a moon that rises at sunset. In other words, the sun comes goes down, the moon comes up. That's a full moon. That's how you can tell which night of the month is a full moon. Which one came up at sunset. Okay? A moon that rises at sunset. Okay, another way to say that. What's a full moon? A moon that is up all night. Now, here's the thing. Everybody looks at the moon. But most people don't pay any attention to it. 
And most people don't pay any attention to when they see it and when they don't see it and what, how it's changed from the last time they saw it. And then to make things even worse, people screw up stuff and they teach little kids stuff about the moon that's not even true. You've all been told that the sun's up in the daytime and the moon's up at night. That's not right. Most of the time, the moon's up in the daytime, too. Okay? Now, let me give you an example. Where the wild things are. I'm going to move the camera up. This is a classic story, and it's about a kid named Max who's been naughty. And all this action happens at supper time, in the evening, before he goes to bed with a moon that looks like that. I got news for you. The moon doesn't look like that when your kid has been naughty before bedtime. That's not the kind of moon that happens, okay? Um, I don't know if you ever saw the show Bear in the Big Blue House. When Bear goes to bed, he always says goodnight to Luna, the moon, out the bedroom window. And that moon is always full every night. Sorry, it doesn't work that way. Sometimes you won't be able to say goodnight to the moon when you go to bed because it was up all day. That's what a new moon is. Okay. All right. So what's a full moon? It's the opposite of a new moon. Which is up all day. And most of the moon phases are a combination, okay? But new moon, up all day, full moon, up all night, okay? This is up half and half, this is up half and half, but they're opposite halves. All right, next thing. Um, I'm going to show you real quickly the moon shirts that I'll be using in these lessons. You already saw the one I'm wearing. Here's a lady shirt that I'll, I do wear. It's just a phase. Here is advice from the moon. Live life to the fullest, blah, blah, blah. There's that spot on the moon I keep showing you. They barely let you see the lady in the moon. She's looking up that way. Here's a moon. Minnesota Great Outdoors and Crescent Moon. Okay. And here's a different kind. Here's a shot of the moon with the earth in the background. That's a picture that one of the Apollo missions took, I think. All right, next. All right, changing the subject. All right. Why do moon phases even matter? Fiscus, who cares? Besides, obviously, astronomy nerds, who cares about moon phases? Why, would, why should you care? The military cares. Do you know who Osama bin Laden was? I said was. Guess what the moon phase was when we killed him? It was a new moon, okay? When the military has to launch a sneak attack at night, they don't go during a full moon. That's how you get people dead, okay? You have to attack when there's no moonlight so nobody can see the aircraft you're coming in and shoot them down, okay? A uh, award-winning movie about SEAL Team 6's killing uh, Osama bin Laden is called O Dark 30. The dark refers to it being new moon, okay? Um, when you launch a sneak attack, you make sure you go in a, in a dark night when there's no moonlight. All right, who else cares about moon phases? Well, fishermen do, especially if you want to catch walleye. Walleyes are active when there's moonlight because so, they can find their food at night. The food is, like, especially perch, they can't see in the dark, but the walleye can. They use the moonlight. Um, if you ever decide to live somewhere near the ocean, who cares about moon phases? Anybody by the ocean. 
because of tides. Anybody living by the ocean. Now, if you live in the Midwest your whole life, you can ignore tides. That's a, that's a dumb thing to ignore if you live by the ocean. Anybody living by the ocean? Because of tides. Who cares about moon phases? Anybody getting hit by a hurricane? You don't want a hurricane to hit at high tide. That means extra flooding, okay? People being hit by hurricanes. People being hit by hurricanes. High tide makes it worse. High tide, lower that a little bit. High tide makes it worse. All right, I'm at 21 minutes. Here's the last thing I'm gonna show you, and then we're gonna call this baby done, okay? I'm gonna hit play. Watch this. Okay. This is one of the brightest stars the moon can ever cover up. Watch what happens to that star. Watch. It just vanished. What happened? Where'd it go? The moon got it. There's moonlight, right? There's moon right here. The unlit part of the moon just took it out. Now, look what's continuing to happen. See the video? The earth is turning and covering up the moon with that building. Okay. I'll play you that video again. That's 22 minutes. That's enough for now.